this video is for educational purposes only and only those competent in electrical wiring and electrical safety procedures should attempt this wiring. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'm going to show you how to run a three-way switch system with the power coming to the light. You see these are four by four metal boxes and then I'm going to be putting mud rings on. This is a, a mud ring for a light. I'm going to put it right here. So that's where the light goes. And then I'm going to use these mud rings here and here for the three-way switches. So the three-way switches will go here and here. So I'll show you the, the cabling first. We have the power coming in. This is a 12-2 with ground right here. This 12-2 with ground. So you got two conductors, the black and the white, and a ground. See, now this is a special way to wire this so that you only use two cables. You got one cable here, one cable here. So you don't have to have a cable coming this way. So it can save you in cabling. That's the advantage. Okay, the disadvantage is you have to use a 12-3 with ground here to get from here to here. And then you use a 12-3 with ground to get to over here. But there's only two cables, so it's pretty cool. We're going to be using an article in the 2020 NEC called 404.2C that says that only one of these boxes is going to have to have a neutral. I wonder if you knew that. <laughs> You know, the only one of these boxes is going to have a neutral in, in certain cases. Well, I'm going to go over that in a little bit. So I'll start with this box right here, the light box. Before you get started, make very sure that the electricity is off. Turn your circuit breaker to the circuit off and make tests to make sure that the electricity is off. And the first thing we're going to do is get the grounds together. So I'm going to take this five conductor Wago lever net and I'm going to put the ground from the uh, power cable in here like that and I'm going to put this EGC wire that's equipment grounding conductor put that right in there and here's the uh, ground that comes down to the uh, first three-way switch box and here is a pigtail that I have prepared that will go in here and click that down so I'm going to put these in here like that. So here's our ground wire that's going to go to the light. So next I'm going to take a three conductor Wago lever net and put one of the neutral wires in there and then another neutral wire and then I have prepared a pigtail that will go right in here like that. Get them all the way in there and push this back in here. So now we have a ground and a neutral for the light. So this is the cable that brings the power into the box and here's its black wire. This is the line wire and I'm just going to hook that directly to the black wire that's leaving the box. Put that in right like that. Push that into the back of the box. You see this black wire is not going to get hooked up to the light. That's going to be the function of this red wire. This is going to be the switched power for the light. The other boxes that have the three-way switches in it will determine whether this wire right here is bringing energy to the light or not. So, so ground, neutral, and switched hot for the light. Now we'll work on the first three-way switch box. And first thing I'm going to do is get the grounds together. So this is the EGC wire, equipment grounding conductor. We'll put that in a five conductor Wago lever nut. And then we'll put that in there like that. And we'll put this one in there like that. And then this is a pigtail that I have prepared. So here's our ground wire for the first three-way switch. Now we have two white wires. And this one is going to bring a neutral into the box. It isn't needed for the three-way switches. So I'm just going to put it like that. And I'm going to put it into the back of the box. So that is an available neutral. I'm going to use this, this other white wire as a hot wire. Here's our wire that's hot all the time. Remember up here, the black wire, we just hooked it together and brought it down here. This is, this is hot all the time. So I'm going to use this white wire as a hot wire. See, I've got it marked with the red tape. And I'll show you the code, 404.2C later. I'm going to hook these together right here. And these two wires right here are what we call traveler wires. 
They come from this 12 free width ground cable and these are 12 gauge, they're the red, black and a white that we're using as a high. Okay, so these are traveler wires. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. So then we're gonna go over here. Okay, so a three-way switch has a green grounding terminal, has a common terminal, which is, that's what the hot wire is gonna go to, that common terminal. And then we got two brass terminals for the traveler wires. I am going to prepare the grounds so here's the ground that comes over here, here's the EGC wire, and here's a pigtail that I have prepared that will go to the three-way switch. So just put that on there, put that on there, put that all the way in there, push this back into the back of the box, and we have a ground wire ready to go right there. I'm going to grab a three-way switch. And you see it says top right up here. So that goes on the top. There's no markings on and off on a three-way switch. And we're going to put it on the green terminal. Give it a crimp. Tighten it down securely. Okay, so now this is the hot wire. We brought this all the way from the light box. And we put that right in there, put it in all the way. You want to put these in so there's no copper showing, but you don't want any insulation under the terminal. So you put that in there just right. And tighten down the black common terminal. That takes the power wire. There you go. These two terminals are for traveler wires. And I always put the red one on top and the black one on the bottom. It's going to go like that, so I'm going to take the red traveler wire, get in there like that. Okay, and then the black traveler wire, put him in just like that. Now we're back over here to the first three-way switch box, and I'm going to put the ground wire onto this three-way switch, and I'm going to fasten it to the three-way switch securely okay so this is your switched hot wire this comes up up here remember this one we're gonna hook this to the light this is the switched hot wire so that goes to your common terminal right here okay and we're gonna tighten that down securely all right so now we just have the traveler wires the same ones, we put this one on the top and this one on the bottom, and do the same thing here. Okay, the red's gonna go on the top, right like that, <clears throat> tighten it down securely, and the black's gonna go to the bottom, just like this, tighten it down securely. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the mud ring on to the light. I've already got the cross piece on there. Okay, I'm going to hook the grounds to the grounds. There's one thing that these Wago lever nuts are really good at, hooking the uh, stranded wire to the solid wire. We'll attach the stranded neutral from the light to the neutral from the box. And the hot to the hot. Put that all on the back of the box. Okay, the light is installed. Okay, so now I'll put these mud rings on. And I'm just gonna, I usually, I usually put these mud rings on prior to hooking up the devices, but uh, I left it open for increased visibility. Okay, now I'm gonna put a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the device. I've put on the mud ring and I've put on a couple wraps of black electrician's tape for safety. Okay, these are backing plates for screwless wall plates. They do have screws in them in the backing plate, but they call them screwless wall plate. So you just click them on there like that and click them on there like that. Now let's turn on the circuit breaker and test out our three-way switch system.
every combination works great. Now let's go to the code book and find out if it's okay that one of these boxes does not have a neutral wire. Let's say that these three-way switches are in a kitchen and you can see the entire floor area from either location. So here we are at 2020 NEC 404.2C. Switches controlling lighting loads. And right down here, it says where multiple switch locations control the same lighting load. And that's what we have with a three-way switch system. We have two switches controlling the same lighting load. So where multiple switch locations control the same lighting load such that the entire floor area of the room or space is visible from the single or combined switch locations, the grounded circuit conductor. Now that's your neutral. Look at my little inset here. You can see the neutrals connected to the grounding bus bar. The neutrals are grounded at the main panel. So the grounded circuit conductor shall only be required at one location. So in my case, where we have two three-way switches, one at each end of a kitchen, where the whole kitchen is visible from both of the locations, we only need a neutral wire in one of the switch boxes. Here's a drawing of the wiring that I just did. And you can do this wiring with 14-2 with ground cables and 14-3 ground with cables if you have a 15 amp circuit breaker. I just wanted to make a note of that. So in this drawing we have uh, the cables here first. This is 12-2. They come with ground of course but in my drawing I left off the grounds to make it simpler. So we got 12-2 coming in here. We have 12-3 here and then we have 12-3 going between the switches. So it, we come in here and uh, let's start with the neutrals. Okay, so the neutral from the power cable comes in here, and then I use the pigtail to this neutral, which will go to the light, and then this neutral goes through here and goes to the first three-way switch, and we just capped it off there. So this three-way switch had a neutral, but this three-way switch did not. So for the black wire, which we call the line wire, that's the one that brings the electrical energy into the box, we connected it together here and went through this 12-3 cable and went down here. And you see, we did not use this power right here to power the light because if I did, the light would be on at all times. And we want to be able to switch it at two locations. So. I took this power and we went through the 12-3 cable and we came down here and then I used the white wire which I recolor coded uh, with red tape on both ends and so this is then a hot wire if you do that. So we went right over here and this went to the common terminal and then this red wire and this black wire are traveler wires. So we went over here and I like to connect my, my red traveler wire to the upper terminal it's on both sides. See the red is connected to the upper terminal on both sides. And then here's the black wire and it comes over here and it goes to the lower traveler wire terminal. See these are both traveler wire terminals here and this is your common terminal. These are the traveler wire terminals and this is your common terminal. And then of course this was a 12-3 cable here so we had a red wire and I attached this to the common terminal right here and we went over here and this goes to the light. So this neutral pigtail and this red wire that comes from this common terminal, this is your load wire. Okay, this would be the load wire, the light being the load. This was the line wire. So this was for your load, which is the light. And so the light got hooked up to the white, the neutral, and the ground. The ground isn't in the drawing. I'm also planning on making a video that will show you how to do this with just two cables, like, like there's two cables here, but there will be a neutral 
in both of the boxes. What I have to do to do that is use a 12-4 cable from here to here. And I'll make a video about how to do this with a 12-2 cable going from the light box. This is again with the power coming to the light box. Okay. And so we'd use a 12-2 here, a 12-3 here, and then we'd have to run a 12-2 here. That's another cable, but you may prefer that because you have a lot of 12-2 cable. You don't have a lot of more expensive 12-3 cable. So I'm going to make videos on both of those setups. So you'll be covered with Sparky Channel on the power to the light box for three-way switch setups. I'll put links in my video description for the Weha Xeno Drive number two screwdriver. I'll put links for the 2020 NEC Spiral Bound code book and the 2020 NEC hard copy handbook. And I'll put links for the Leviton Decora Plus three-way switches. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.